Hello my dear coaster friends, welcome back to a park tour uh, in Planet Coaster, my third park I want to present to you today. Uh, it's called Fantasyland, it's, it's yeah, not a very creative name, I know that, but it's uh, still a very creative, I think, park uh, with lots of yeah, things built by myself and of course a lot of things built by other creators which name I will mention during the park tour of course as always and as the last time it was uh, a separate park tour in German and now a park tour in uh, English both will be re will be released at the same time I think I made it last time a quarter between then so if you see the German version wait for the English one it will come a quarter afterwards so um, yeah let's go into the park now um, with a short entry let's say it that way I have seen in the last park tour that many people switch off the park tour after half an hour um, so that's average uh, watching time on the uh, last park tour where the videos was always I think around a three quarters. The second one was almost an hour, I think. Uh, so it was very long videos. It is a very big park, of course. Fantasyland is uh, much shorter. It's, as you can see here, divided in, in three parks. It's uh, scary fantasy corner um, on the right. Let's turn it a little bit. Can you see it better? On the right here, you have the Princess Village in the middle, and you have the Fantasy. Thank you, Handy. Thank you for the information. It's always I don't switch it off, as always. And uh, Fantasy section on the left. So let's go into the park entry, which is thank you again, Handy, which is the original entry of the scenario it is again a park made from a scenario not a sandbox park um, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last park tour I always more like to take scenario parks because they are already yeah have some more hills and uh, caves and and valleys inside of them and, and trees already planted and so on so as I I'm not so the big creative man yeah so so I really like if there's something already in so I can have something to work with so I have already first ideas how to proceed with the park uh, if the programmer who did the park uh, to that point has, has thought to do it on that way it's not so necessary be mentioned for me but um, I like to have a direction if I go into a park so uh, I, therefore I like to play pay the career parks and I now have here yeah I had ch only change here on the entry a little bit you have uh, first aid station on the left you have uh, a small shop for fan articles on the right and of course we have a lot of cameras inside the park this, I think this is the first uh, park which is totally covered with, with camera protection so the last one it was not totally covered but this one is, is totally covered so um, yeah, uh, yeah. to mention one name again, which I already mentioned in the last park, last park is the name Aritario. I mentioned it, that one a lot and this uh, fountain here in the middle uh, of this round entry. Um, yeah, it's again something from him and, and he done so much for the last park and so it was really like feeling to giving some one more recognition here to take a fountain again which also is in the 
second park uh, park and uh, yeah put it here again oh I forgot to to switch off the um, nailed time we go first to the left side to the fantasy forest and there we have the first workshop item of mine is this yeah green entry to the fantasy park um, uh, because it is a, a, a wood park yeah, I thought it's, it's nice to have already that wood idea at the entry and therefore I done a special entry here and if you can see it is made from yeah wood and plants so, so it's very simple done and you go through the hanging loops of the plants to this park park and then you have directly on the right side the first right and that the people who stand in the queue don't see directly yet the middle park of the park I put here this stone wall and let's enter it by night so because the lightning effects are very nice here with the candles on the right so it's a very romantic entry for the same and you have the witch on the left yeah because the name of this first right is spell and you can also find it in the workshop let's go back again to the original time and it is a flat ride a simple flat ride here I was inspired for that construction by another ride we will see afterwards by it's called Enchantress and it's made by Wix W A K Z. Um, if you want to check it in the workshop, you can use that name. You'll find it there, and it's also made by wood combined with plants. And the dream lamps are hanging inside of it, and a big candle here in the middle. So. Very, I, I really think it's a very nice entry. Um, ride skin for a, for a ride. We don't use now the exit, it's going to the wrong way. We go out here to get back where we started and proceed further into the park. And there we can see the first coaster which is crossing here along. Yeah, right above the main road, which is looking very nice. Let's see if we can. If it comes in that second now. No, it seems not. So then we proceed. I think I heard it. No. So, let's go further. In, it is totally placed inside, how that stands, inside this, let's say, valley between the two parts of the forest. I think very nice. And there it is, the inspiration for spell, it's Enchantress. I hope I said it right. Yeah, Enchantress from Wix. As you can see, it's, it's for to say uh, it's very similar construction, but with another theming. It's a witch theming here, and uh, yeah, without the lamps, so it has a different optics. But I follow up his idea. He made it by to my own. Right skin. 
So, let's proceed out. Saving. And then we have this small place. It's a place uh, for the king. With some barns you can also find in my workshop. I know they are not the nicest construction, but as I always say, you, I only to remember you, I'm a working guy and I have two kids, so I don't have much time to make very detailed constructions. I leave it other people who have more time for that, so uh, I do my best to look to make them look nice. And I think, for example, the second construction I did is that one, it's looking much nicer already. But it's simple, very simple. I only see, on, I only. Ah, uh, how was it about again? Ah, oh, forget. <laughs> I must really truly say that. And that's the exit, and we go into the exit of the coaster now, only to show you something. That's that part of the building. Okay, can I do the camera flatter? Okay, great. That one, that's a rune, which is made by Thim Understripe V or 5. Yeah, so T H I M Understripe V. Yeah. He made, um, he's one of the main builders for this park, so I really take this idea from him from a ruin and made some other stuff out of it. You will see them during the park tour, but I really want to say thank you on this position to him because he really makes, makes some incredible things. It's, it's very rich, detailed construction. Let's do little bit camera to the back or to upwards so you really can see it's, it's really looking like a ruin and, and, and it's a lot of work with a lot of stones here single stones put together so it's really looking like it was break out out each other and it's, it's, it's really a lot of work here and uh, so Great work done here from him. So let's go back to the main pass and proceed over the bridge. Beneath the bridge is the coaster, it's crossing in a moment. And uh, a small fortress, a medieval fortress, which is put together with the ruins. And it is the coaster station of this coaster. And as you can see, this is a very rich animated queue line here. We will see it now better if we proceed to go deeper inside of it. And there on the right you have already yeah a first thing which was inspired by theme 5. It is my own queue building, let's say it's a small ruin where you go alongside of it. So nights inside of it and so you have a little bit animation during your wait for the teacup ride which is also a, a skin of mine and you can find that one also in the workshop so hope you like it so there are two it's two workshop blueprint items here so therefore the color is also a little bit different here um, I put them together because I like that you can also use them separately of course as you wish so let's go yeah let's go a little bit inside only to give you the feel how it looks like if you really walk through it and I think it's very, very ruined, medieval-like, and you always, yeah, you think about, yeah, what, what are the whole knights got here? What, what's the secret? And then you go to the key teacup ride, which is really looking medieval now. Sorry. <coughs> A little bit sick in the moment. Uh, so 
but I have vacation, let's say it that way. <laughs> then you have the right to be sick. So let's go outside again. Is there on the right you have the queue for the first coaster in this park? It's called Dragon Hunt. And if you go inside, you already find yeah, a dragon who is eating here his meal, a fast bass queue. It's also a item you can find in my workshop. Together with the coaster building we have here, inside with a lot of steam beneath the track and uh, waiting rows, so that you have yeah, a nice looking effect here and entertainment while you wait for the next coaster car. So let's take a look on the ratings. So it's a hybrid coaster, I think you already seen that, so it's not a wooden coaster, the main construction, the main piles of the construction are made from wood, but the track way is made from steel, so it is a hybrid system, so it is more, have a more smooth ride here, um, and that's the big difference between that one and of course a, a completely wooden coaster. And the second thing is you can do um, interversions, uh, which you normally cannot do on a wooden coaster. So that's a real plus here. But let's take a look. As you can see, the frequency is very high here with the cars. Let's take a look at the rating. It's 5.62 uh, with the fun, so it's almost perfect, almost green, six green. 4.35 for for thrill, 1.31 for illness, which is a little bit high for to say honestly. The rest the um, ride duration is two minutes. The track length is 1.7 kilometers. The maximum uh, speed is 128 kilometers, which is for a wooden coaster, good speed, really good speed, high speed. The uh, average speed is 50 kilometers, which is also good. You have the biggest fall of 54 meters. Uh, you have three inversions, as I said, you can do with a hybrid coaster inversions. Uh, but you don't have any airtime, which is not typical for a wooden coaster. Normally, you have a very high airtime rating here. The scenario um, rating is very high. So that was for the Technic Freaks. Let's go inside, it's the wrong car. And do the on ride. I honestly say directly to the beginning it has one small faulty inside of it. But I will explain after the ride why it is so and why I didn't change that. We will see that afterwards. So let's go and do the on ride. The lift has this very high speed uh, to, to cover the high duration of the cars coming in and out. <coughs> then you have already the first inversion, a uh, half screw, a half loop combined to a drop again a half loop big screw big half screw again uh, I believe that's a full loop and then it goes with the outline curve to an inline curve around the tree and then to the rest of the track to the other side of the park Again, around the tree with some, yeah, port, um, water effects on the right. A dragon who will always eat us a dragon sleep. Then the knights are waiting for, for to attack the dragons, maybe, you don't know. 
and above of the main road to the hold position. So you have a, a little small hold here to ensure safety of course and to ensure that enough coaster cars are on the track but it is as you can see really only a small halt and then it goes directly further back into the coaster station so if this was this long yeah, entry would not be in this ride the rating would be higher of course so that was on right hope you liked it of the dragon hunt um, I think you saw the small faulty we have here let's go zoom out and take a look at it so you can't see so that you can better see it you can see here is the wooden construction but uh, supported by steel and I don't know why because that's a programmer faulty for better to say not a faulty by my by me the programmer put here a um, metal suspension between those wooden piles and if the car goes through you can see it here bum, 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 bum. the heads will yeah cut off here normally but the problem is um, we can try it out if you go inside the coaster let's close it let's go into the building situation and mark this so you can see it is an original part it's nothing from me I only changed the, the size uh, which make it much more senseless why this faulty is here and you put it away the whole wooden construction which is possible and then the whole curve hangs in the air and that looks much more sillier than these the only metal expansion here which is hidden from the heads so I make the decision to keep it on uh, so that you have the perfect optics here and um, yeah not the perfect function let's say it that way um, I hope this is understandable uh, let's take a short drink sorry and let's see the rest of the first part of my of this park part of the park okay let's go the outside line was here we already, sh already showed that so let's proceed from this point and go beneath the coaster where I put a lot of trees on the right side and on the left side to keep the forest impression alive so we have yeah, also a little animations left and right so that the people are still entertained and then you have the next item from theme 5 um, the team 5 team. I think it's Tim and his back name is something with V I think <laughs> it's TH so theme 5 I think <coughs> out of his ruin collection a small shop a double shop so it's not small a double shop <coughs> I used that one two times in the park you can see in the second video the second one later on so we have here a little yeah <coughs> sorry my voice is gone. <coughs> um, 
and that's you now you can see I had the same thing during the German video I switched on and off the only to show the faulty um, the uh, wooden construction and then oh surprisingly the rating for fun is almost one point higher than before I don't know why it is so so let's open it again with a better rating without changing anything so <coughs> so let's proceed here with the park tour <coughs> um, to that place at a coaster called Wildwoods I will come again in the second video we will not show it here we we'll proceed a little bit this track further and there you can see the next construction it is again a right skin here and yeah a very nice looking wooden cottage which is made from also from wicks and this house on the right also from him so um I, I lose use his contractions here and there so but the main attraction I think in this queue line we go into is this house it's called the bird house and it is made from woody uh, so w o o d y um, I, I like it not because of the birds I must say I like it because of these nice stairs and the fountain in front of it and and the combination between yeah a, a separate standing uh, tower and a small cottage I, I like this a lot yeah and there you come to the next right I changed the lumberjack cottage here so that it's better fitting in yeah in the surrounding um, but I will not explain because I only have two and a half minutes left for this video so I will not explain what I changed here only that I changed so and then yeah that's the last ride for this video let's go back to the coaster uh, as you can see, Wildwoods has an, a fence made of these wooden, modern wooden construction. And therefore, I placed on the other side two shops a fast pass shop here and an ATV on uh, um, ATM, sorry, on the other side, which is a little bit low, as you can see, it's still working. Um, I made them specially for this position also in that design so that they fit from the optics to the poster so uh, you can find them also in my um, in my workshop but now let's end here this video um, we will take a look at the coaster behind me and at the coaster in front of me in the next video so come back tomorrow and have the next look into my third park goodbye